you know, guys, I think this is going to be a good year. We're young. We got three years to make this show beautiful. Here's to three solid years of solid entertainment. Here, here. <laughs> I just want to make Eric proud. Well, speaking of Eric, the former producer of IDC, wasn't he supposed to be here like three hours ago? Yeah, he said he might be a little late. Oh, hey, Eric. Hey, guys. And Derek. <clears throat> hey, guys. I'm sorry I'm late. I was packing. Where are you going? Prison. I just got a subpoena to appear in court. I'm a suspect in a homicide case. How you getting out of that? I'm not. They got me pretty well cornered. Plus, I really did it, and I'm not a very good liar. Apparently, they can detect fingerprints these days. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh, well, uh, we, we just want to thank you for passing the show on to us and believing in us, and... Can we speed this up? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, thanks, you. You're welcome. And guys, I really think you have something special here. I believed in you since day one, and Derek since day four. You guys will do all right. Now let's rub nipples. I know I always gave you a hard time, Derek, but you're all right. Thanks, Eric. That's my cue. Uh, good luck, guys. And remember, never, ever kill anyone without gloves. Peace in the Middle East. Hey, Derek. How's that hug, man? Turn me on. Welcome to Iowa Death Scan Count. On tonight's show, Weird Al Yankovic. Big ass turkey leg guy, Chuck Ford. And the musical stylings of Rooster Cogburn. Live from Studio 114 Communication Center, Season 5 begins now with your host, Rob Keach! Thank you, thank you, and welcome to Iowa Desk and Couch. This is the fifth season, our season premiere, and it will no doubt be the best season yet that is based on nothing. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, because I'm standing up. Uh, we got a great show for you tonight on the program tonight. Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah. We, went, we went to uh, Cedar Rapids and got an interview, to, got to sit down with him and talk to him about his tour and his uh, new album, Straight Outta Linwood. So that was pretty exciting. Also on the program, big ass turkey like guy Chuck Ford will be here. Yeah. So we're pretty excited about that. But, of course, first, it's time for the headlines. Nebraska State Senator Ernie Chambers recently sued God to prove the point that anyone can sue anyone. He also proved the point that anyone can be a state senator in Nebraska. <laughs> Thank you. 59-year-old Mike Floyd Flint of Alpine, Texas. I don't know when it is with Floyd tonight. Uh, linebacker is the newest linebacker for the Division Three team, the Lobos. Geez, a 59-year-old linebacker. What's next? A one-year-old playing ping pong? And welcome back to Channel 4 Breaking News. Something's happening on College Street. Just when you thought the apartment life couldn't get any cooler, well, it does. Yeah, so we, uh, we were at the mall the other day, and we saw this baby, and it had, like, it, this ping pong paddle in its hand. 
and we thought it was like the cutest thing ever. So then we decided to steal it and uh, brought it back to our place, gave it a ball, and it started playing ping pong. It was awesome. The 1960s had the moon landing. The 1970s had, in the 2000s, have a baby playing ping pong. Dude, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Awesome. <laughs> this reporter agrees wholeheartedly. OJ the Juice Simpson has once again appeared in the media spotlight after charges of kidnapping with a deadly weapon, among others. He is set to write a book about the incident entitled, If I Did It, Even Though I Didn't Do It, This Is How I Would Have Done It. But this isn't how I did it because I didn't do it at all. Seriously, I'm innocent. I learned my lesson the first time around. Not saying I did the first time, but I mean more of the dealing with the media and so on. <laughs> Cities around the country are beginning to crack down on sagging pants, which in the same areas could carry a $800 fine or possibly jail time. Jeez, cracking down on saggy pants? What's next? Banning one-year-olds from playing ping pong? Three have been confirmed dead two young adult males, and one baby who played ping pong. Yeah, dude, it, it all happened so fast. I mean, we were watching the news, and then uh, we saw that they passed the No Babies Playing Ping Pong Act of 2007. He, he just pulled out two guns, and he just opened fire on us. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky I just, I'm lucky I didn't die. I jumped behind my friend Ben, and that's probably what saved me. But there was only one survivor on this night. Sadly, the baby took its own life, leaving behind a legacy. Three Lebanon, Ohio residents were arrested in an undercover police sting trying to pass off a mixture of catfish bait and vinegar as heroin. <laughs> Wait a second, does that work? And finally, 60-year-old Margaret Dills of Sioux Falls, South Dakota was arrested after police found shocking videos of Dills having sex with traffic signs. <laughs> Shockingly, I, we here at Iowa Desk and Couch have one of the videos. Take a look. Deals and I'm about to get it on with a stop sign. Over the summer, Weird Al was performing in Cedar Rapids, promoting his new album, Straight Outta Linwood. We had the chance to sit down and talk with Al about his tour and everything Al. Have a look. Just for you. 